Okay, we're going to have a little video here to show how to update the factory reset partition on a 3DR Solo using Solex. I'm going to start out uh, pointing out that, the, that my I'm on my home Wi-Fi with internet, so I have an internet connection on my phone here. And so what I need to do, if you notice, you go to the menu, scroll all the way to the bottom, you don't have a firmware menu item down here in the bottom. To get that, you have to go to app settings, turn on advanced mode, and that will allow you to set the default vehicle type to solo. And then we can go back out and go to the menu and we have firmware updates at the bottom. So we tap that and it's going to tap refresh and we'll get a list of all the available downloads. And for this video we're going to use the all the way down here almost at the bottom. Open Solo Update Factory Reset Partition for the controller, and then below that is for the copter. We're just going to tap each one of those and download them. They're really small, so it doesn't take long. See, so now show those are downloaded. So now we'll go back out and go to my Wi Fi settings. Change to my solo link. The default password will be lowercase solo link. So I'm going to go back to Solex and see it connect. And it downloads the parameters. And it's connected to my vehicle. So then I go back to the firmware updates menu item. And I see only the ones that I have downloaded. I'm going to start with the controller, but it doesn't matter which one you do first. You just tap it. You can read this. And then install. And I wait for it to happen. What this is doing is replacing the initial firmware that comes on a brand new solo it comes with a firmware that has to be updated before it will fly okay that one's complete so now I'm just going to do the copter one read this a lot of times it's best to read these things because there's information in there that could be important so install So it replaces the original firmware that comes out of the box with whatever you have installed at the time. So this isn't updating any firmware. It's just eliminating the, soft, the firmware that comes on the Solo that can't fly so that you don't get stuck if you ever have to factory reset. Okay, now both of our factory reset partitions are fabulous. And that's all there is to it. After that, you can just fly. Thanks for watching.